Um, so a chicken gives birth to an egg, not a scrambled egg. Yeah. <laughs> so why, you know, we understand that as being an execution of certain DNA codes. And yes, overall, the entropy increases of the whole larger system. Yeah. But in that process, there was a code that was executed. It was a very prescriptive and made something very ordered. Absolutely. Why can't we think of the laws of physics that way? That when the universe began, there were these laws of physics and it created an ordered egg. Yeah, I, I don't, I, if I looked at you like you were crazy. You did, but you might have just yeah, been like maybe, we were Maybe it was indigestion or something, <laughs> you know, maybe they were reading more into it than it was. Um, it could well be that the laws of physics themselves when playing out in a cosmological setting, guarantee that some first event would be highly ordered, you know, like giving birth to the universe, like giving birth to the egg. The problem I have with turning that into a real full explanation is I don't see how that happens. In our current configuration of the laws of physics, they tell us about how things evolve over time, but they don't tell us the initial conditions. So is it the case that we could come up with laws that determine the conditions as opposed to laws that tell us how the conditions change?